Welcome back everyone to a brand new video. In today's video we're discussing some awesome news topics for Fortnite and the future of the remainder of the season. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the news, and if you like today's video, let's smash that like button and set a like goal of 200 likes today. I think we can do it. There's plenty to talk about, so let's hop into it. Also, if you want to subscribe and stay notified on the news topics, leaks, challenge guides, and a lot more other games coming up soon, like uh, <clears throat> Destiny, make sure to hit that button down below and tap the bell to stay notified. So the 13.40 update, aka the Joyride update, has officially dropped. This update is packed full of new features and amazing gameplay featuring cars, gas cans, and it's just, it's making Fortnite feel fresh and new once again. Hashtag Fortnite is great again. Let's get that trending on Twitter, please. Cars have been introduced into the game, causing people to flip out, literally, over the new gameplay mechanics and overall bugs. Some bugs, including gas can duplicating and flying trucks. Yes, you heard that correctly. We also have some new awesome leaks regarding the fishing collection book, which didn't originally release within the season, and what kinds of fish we'll get. From a tweet from Fire Monkey, we see here all the types of fish and how to obtain them. These are the fish that you can find anywhere. Orange floppers, green floppers, light blue small fry, tan small fry, purple top small fry, blue small fry, purple and orange thermal fish, weird, blue flopper, silver thermal fish, molten fire fish, slurp jellyfish, black and blue shield fish, blue slurp fish, black small fry, only found during the night, dark vanguard jellyfish, once again, also found during the night. Drift Hop Flopper, Pink Shield Fish, Light Blue Shield Fish, and Blue Slurp Fish. These are the fish that can be only found in mountainous areas. The Purple Slurp Fish, the White Spotted Fire Fish, the Peely Jellyfish, and the Atlantic Hop Flopper. We've also got some other ones that can only be found in swampy areas, like the White Slurp Fish, only found during the night, the Southern Fire Fish, the Cuddle Jellyfish, the Chin Hook Hop Flopper, the yellow slurp fish, and then in forest areas we have the green thermal fish, red and green thermal fish, drift fire fish, coho hop flopper, and the green shield fish. And then in coastal areas we have the black slurp fish, only found during the night, raven thermal fish, you would expect that one to be night only, right? Sky blue fire fish, purple jellyfish, chum hop flopper, and the black striped shield fish. So you can expect that once it gets to the point where the fishing collection book is out, I'm most likely going to be doing a video on how to get all the fish and uh, probably collecting the fish myself because why not? But uh, yeah, pretty interesting to see that we have all these fish coming into the game and it's it's awesome to see that Tabor Hill was actually correct about that fishing collection book. I literally thought that that was just a ruse and it was not going to happen, but here we are. We also got a crap ton of new skin leaks as well as some awesome packs returning and coming into the shop new, so let's talk about those. The Shadow Fighters pack coming with the Shadow Archetype, Night Gunner, and Mecha Team Shadow skins will be releasing sometime in the near future. The price of this pack is estimated in my eyes to be $19.99, but it's not certain whether it's a V-Buck pack or real money yet. I kind of hope it's V-Bucks because I don't want to pay 20 bucks for that. And I know it's going to be 20 bucks if that is. A new V-Buck challenge pack is also going to be available fairly soon. Sorry about my bird. The new Derby Dynamo outfit coming with three selectable styles and the built-in freewheeling emote will come into Fortnite as a V-Buck challenge pack, rewarding up to 1,500 V-Bucks. This pack will in fact cost money and the expected price is $14.99. Batman and the Catwoman items are making a return in the near future as well. With Batman Day coming up in September, we can expect to see the Caped Crusader himself coming back into the shop with his purchasable pack. Catwoman and her accessories and the rest of the Batman stuff will also now be discounted in the bundles shown here on screen. Metal Team Leader, aka the Save the World Starter Pack, is now available on the Xbox Microsoft Store for $5 off. Not too much of a difference, but it's still something I thought I should mention. The sale is only going to last for five days. And while we're on this topic of Save the World Starter Packs, we actually have our first look at the brand new Season 4 Starter Pack, which was actually also leaked today. This skin here, which is named in the codes of Junk Samurai, is actually going to be called Samurai Scrapper. This will be the brand new Save the World Starter Pack, coming with the Samurai Scrapper Outfit, the Samurai Scrapper Hero, 1,000 V-Bucks in challenges for Save the World, as well as this weapon here called the Scrapper Spear. 
The item shop also reset early this morning with a brand new dummy and sand shark driver outfits, along with their accessories, including the noggin pickaxe and the crash test wrap. Pretty funny skin, if I do say so myself. Another new skin that was leaked today called Dio, or Deo, I think it's Deo, which I will show at the end of this video as well, aka the ancient astronaut that launched his spaceship the other day, will in fact be returning to the island for another discoverable quest for some reason. There will be a brand new discoverable quest themed after him and we don't really know what we have to do yet, but the mission itself is called Astronaut. Not as in N-O-T. Yeah, you probably got that, but... Anyways, speaking of discoverable quests, the new Coral Buddies quests are out now. There's two of them, and if you want to know where they are, here's a video link that I posted earlier showing both locations for them. Uh, this video will actually be in the description as well as it's probably on the top right of your screen right now. There will be another achievement available from unlocking these Coral Buddies quests soon where you need to have all of the Coral Buddies quests completed that existed within a season. So if you missed any, you're not getting the achievement. And speaking of semi-useless bragging rights related challenges, a new punch card was added today as well. The punch card in question is called Chauffeur. This punch card is simply to drive around passengers. Yeah, it's that easy. You have to drive a thousand meters, 25,000 meters, 50,000 meters, 100,000 meters, and 250,000 meters with a passenger. Honestly, you could probably knock this out if you played a whole day just driving around a car. It's that easy. But it's a free punch card, free XP for you all. You might as well give it a try. We also have three weeks planned within this current update. This is supposed to be the last update of the Season 3 of Chapter 2. Season 4 is scheduled to actually happen on August 27th, despite everyone saying there's a delay. I don't think there's going to be delays. I hope there's not, and I really don't think there will be, because at this current moment in time, they don't have any other builds that they are testing in their servers, and if they were going to push out another update, they would be testing it. But then again, we have three weeks before the next update is scheduled to occur, so who knows? Maybe they will put one in. But personally, I don't think they're going to. They're, cur they're currently only testing one more server, and that is the 14.0 update, which is the Season 4 update. Now that is all for the skin leaks portion of the news. My next video is actually going to drop tomorrow talking about event leaks just before the XP coin video drops tomorrow morning because I don't have time to edit it right now and get it out at a reasonable time tonight before the item shop. So for now, I leave you with the end of this video being a slideshow of all the new cosmetics as I usually do per update. Enjoy, and I'll see you in part two tomorrow morning.